Yo, what is going on boys? It is me and I'm back with another YouTube video today. Hope you guys are doing good and today I am here with the best sniping filters in Madden 22. This is one of, one of the best ways to actually make coins in Madden 22 and you can make probably millions off of this honestly if you just sat here and grinded this out. I wouldn't say use all of your time during the EA play to be sniping out. Maybe you can actually be doing some solo challenges which I'll go over in another video but for right now this is a really good way to actually make coins. A lot of people thought sniping was going to be dead due to the new auction house changes in the way the market trends are actually going to be set in place but this way actually makes it not that bad um, I actually went through the whole entire thing and uh, there's definitely a much easier way to snipe now and it's really not even that bad some of the market trends haven't been set probably for the most part but as of right now I would say that uh, you know it is still gonna work either way you can still actually make some pretty good snipes but before I get started in this video make sure to drop a sub down below on the channel for the best coin making methods and mutt tips in Madden 22 along with pretty much any other tips you guys need team building wise and stuff like that and also make sure to drop a like down below on this video as well as trying to have at least 10 likes on this video so uh i actually already recorded this video earlier on today and the file got corrupted so very unfortunately um you know i pretty much am re-recording this whole entire video but it might be a little bit smoother but either way i'm gonna show you guys that um i tried something earlier on today during the video and it still ended up working out and uh, you know this kind of proves that sniping is not dead at all. So earlier on in the uh, you know earlier on in the day when I record this video, I bought both of these Joe Toonies, Toonies, however you say his name, I don't even know. Um, I bought both of these cards for these prices, so 8,900 and 9,500. You guys can see I bought these four. Let's head over to my auctions real quick, and you guys see both of these sold for just around 13,000 coins. I put this up for a little bit less just to see if it would sell, and it still did. So I'm pretty happy about that, and I do think that um, that shows that you can still pretty much make a lot of coins off of sniping. I think I did the same exact thing with an Eric Armstead. Yes, you guys see here that I bought this for 9,900 coins, and I sold the Eric Armstead for 13,500 coins. It doesn't seem like a lot, a lot of coins, but for day one Madden, 1,000 to 2,000 coins in profit on each card is actually very good. Golds are a little bit harder to snipe out and stuff, but I'm still gonna show you guys the filters, but I do think 80 to 81 is gonna be your bread and butter to make some coins this year. So as you guys know, there is market trends now, and there's you know certain different market trends on certain cards that'll show you the minimum and maximum that you guys can actually buy them at, and uh, you know the medium price and stuff like that. But when you're buying cards, it does not show you this. If you go over to a certain card, it will not show you um, the median prices for this. So that means people that are going to buy cards will not actually know the prices of the real cards unless they really filter down, which is exactly where sniping comes in. Filtering down is the hardest thing to do for some people in Madden for some apparent reason, but filtering down is, is very easy for us to do when it comes to snipers and trying to make some coins on some cards. So. What we're going to do initially is head over to 80 to 81 overall. As you guys see, it's pretty much selling for about 13,600 coins. Not too bad. Around 13,000 is the range for these cards, I would say, which is what I sold that Jotini for, or Thurney, whatever you want to say his name. So let's go over down to the left guard again. And you see here that there is one up for 9,000 coins. Pretty easy. Let me go pick this up real quick. And uh, it, it expired, so I wasn't fast enough. But you guys see that I could have picked that up and sold it for another 13,000 coins. After tax, remember there's 10% tax on each card, 13,000 coins would be 11,700. After buying it for about 9,000 coins, that's about 2,000, almost 3,000 coins in profit right there. Very easy. All you have to do is sell back the card. It takes a little bit to sell, so I don't want you guys to think, oh no, my cards aren't selling, my cards aren't selling. You have to wait the full hour for the cards to sell. So please be patient with your cards selling. They will sell. So the real filter for this and the way it works, okay, I'm going to explain it to you guys all in one shot, so make sure you're paying attention that the way this works is say you go to 80 to 81 right then i go to newest okay you'll see that the newest up is only 37 minutes okay so you want to see 59 minutes because the auction block can only show up to 100 cards um, at a time so obviously you're not going to see all 100 cards because there's more than 100 cards on the block so they're not showing all of them they're only showing the the uh the oldest cards on the block essentially they're not showing the newest ones that are being shown because there's too many cards up on the block so that's why when you filter down so now these are only all of the 80 to 81 cards on the block on all of madden so if i scroll down to quarterbacks now this is all the quarterbacks that are 80 to 81 on all of madden now that's much less cards you know what i mean so go over to newest and you'll see that's 59 minutes pretty simple thinking now that you guys kind of understand the point so all you have to do is pretty much do that so you 80 to 81 you'll see that they're going for about 13,000 13,500 and then you just scroll by position quarterback halfback wide receiver tight end lineman all of defense and so on and so forth you do that with all of them 
and usually cards that get posted for a lot cheaper than we really see them posted for it does take a little bit there is you know some search you have to do some patience you're gonna have to have but you will make a lot of coins doing this of course you can go and spend your time doing some solos and doing stuff like that but some people that aren't solo grinders or whatever they do enjoy sniping a lot more this is going to be the filter you're going to want to use to really make some coins here even 10,000 right here i could pick this up sell for 13,000 and make 11,700 that's still almost 2,000 coins in profit i'm not going to do it this second for the sake of the video but you guys kind of understand the point here so that is really how you're going to be making all of your coins at least as of right now i will be updating this video more in the future so now let's go over to the golds or you could even go to 8283s these are a little bit more expensive it might be a little bit harder to pull off but these are going for about 18,000. you know say we go down to quarterback we'll see how much they're going for they're going for 11,000. wow that is actually pretty crazy um i didn't expect it to be that much cheaper i didn't really check out the 82s that much at all but if 82s are selling for 18,000 coins and this quarterback, this Ryan Tannehill is only going for 11,000, that might even be a pretty easy one to scoop up. Obviously, there's a lot of Ryan Tannehills up on the block right now, so maybe not super smart to do. Um, but, you know, I mean, you could take a chance on that. There's also an AJ Brown up for 10,000. These 82s might actually be pretty good as well. I would say go through every single overall, check the prices, and then filter down. So to check the prices, all you have to do is go to the quality of the card, and that's it. Make sure you take the 10% tax off and you are good to go from there. Okay, so now one's being, okay, maybe I'm wrong then. I don't know. 82s are a little bit weird. I'll stay away from that for right now. 75 to 79, you'll see they're going for about 4,000 coins. These might be going down in price uh, very slightly um, throughout the whole entire day or two during EA Access. They might go up a little bit more in price once release drops, but as of right now, um, they're going for about 4,000 coins. Uh, so you can do the same thing here. So you can even go, you know, start a quarterback. You'll see. Um, do not pay attention to power-ups at all. Power-ups do not have a factor in the pricing of these whatsoever. Uh, so you see they're going for about 4,000 coins. Remember, after tax at 4,000 coins, that is 3,600. So anything under 3,600 will be profit. I could pick up that 3,000, make almost 1,000 coins. Go to tight ends and do the same exact thing for just about everything. So... That is pretty much the whole entire gist of everything right now. You can do that with any single overall. I don't want to sit here and waste you guys' time and kind of talk about a bunch of stuff in the video. So it is what it is. There is only one more thing I do want to go over. I will be dropping a lot more videos on coin making methods and stuff like that. Um, probably very soon. I do have a few more methods I do want to drop, but I want to do them one at a time. I don't want to throw them all in one video. Um, so this is something I wanted to show you guys in general is what I was talking about the market trend So if you click on a card and you go to auction it You'll see that there's a medium price a lowest buy now price current available stuff like that um, Usually under these cards You'll see that there's a minimum and maximum that you can actually sell this card for and it'll show the recent sales uh, So essentially this is pretty good for people that are selling cards and you don't really feel like checking prices You don't have to guess which prices, you know, you might not lose coins on a card and you might not, you know yeah, it's just kind of stuff like that trying to sell but I feel like a lot of people won't really pay attention to this that much especially when they're buying cards this screen does not come up when you're trying to buy a card so you won't even be able to tell if you're getting a card for too expensive or too cheap it's pretty good that way I think that is a good way for snipers I just wanted to show you guys that real quick on the economic information tab but that's pretty much gonna be it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed hope you guys go and make some coins off of this filter if you guys have any questions Make sure to drop a comment down below. I really do appreciate all the love, all the support on the last video, and I will be live streaming a lot more recently as well if you guys want to come through. Watch me snipe for a little bit. Watch me make some coins. I'm probably going to be building a team as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys. Have a good one, and peace.